Hi guys, here's a quick video today to show you three creative hacks to add contrast and pop in your photos using just the black and white layer in Photoshop. So keep watching if you're interested and please do subscribe and give me a like. So here's our black and white layer and we just click on it once to bring it up. You can just leave it like that if you like the effect, it will turn your image black and white. But we're not going to leave it there, we're going to double click on this icon here to bring our settings back up. Now we're going to play with these colour sliders. I particularly like to play with the red and yellow because it affects your skin and your hair and gives a lot of contrast. So you can see the amount of effect I get if I pull the sliders. And this is a case of just playing really and see what suits your image and what you like, your personal taste. I tend to like to pull my reds down and my yellows up. It's then a case of just seeing what other colours you've got in your image and seeing how moving the sliders affects them. So do you see by pulling that blue slider up we're getting a really nice matte effect. If you're a fan of the matte effect then that's the look for you. Again if you want more contrast then bring the blues down. And this will vary on your image depending on what colours you've got in your image. I like contrast, so I'm going to bring my blue and magenta down a little bit. And again, if you want, you can pull your opacity down. And obviously that will then bring the colour back. By doing this, you can get a really nice desaturated, dramatic look. So again, just play with the opacity and see what you like. So if we just compare what we started with, with just a simple black and white layer with no adjustments, it's nice enough, but if you want to add more punch and contrast in your image, then play with those sliders and you can see the difference. So now let's add another black and white layer, our hack number two. Here we're just going to change the blending mode to soft light and that will immediately add punch to your image. I find the opacity works best around 20%. Again, it would depend on your image, you can try less, you can try more, but I always start around 20%. And you see how much contrast that gives just from adding one black and white layer with soft light blending mode. Again, if you want to, you can then play with these colour sliders and add even more contrast. And finally, hack number three, let's add one more black and white layer. Here we're going to change our blending mode to luminosity. You have to be really careful when playing with the sliders here because a change will give a dramatic effect. So just move your sliders slightly and see what effect you get. Again, it's a case of playing, see what works for your image. It will be different to this, I'm not saying do exactly these steps. Just play around and see what suits your taste and your image. And if you like it in some areas but not others, which is often the case for me with luminosity because the effect is so strong, you can mask out the areas that you don't like. So just keep the change in the areas that you want. And if you don't know how to use layer masks in Photoshop, I have a tutorial on that and I'll put the link below. So let's mask out our change here just in the background because I think that's going way too dark. But let's keep the contrast and the pop on the model. So there's before and after. So again, in one simple step, we've added some contrast and pop to our image. So guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please give me a like and please do subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or queries. Thanks. Bye.